Hello everybody, in this video I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $99,876.24. In the past year I am up $27,138.29. Year to date for the year 2024 I am currently up $9,000. $476.85 Today was a pretty red day for me. During the day, I was down $1,185.73 and then after hours, I am up $550.73 but still overall, a pretty red day. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Google $180 covered calls these expire July 19. My total return, I am down $426. I'm selling Robinhood $18 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, $350. I'm selling Starbucks $80 covered calls. These expire July 19. My total return, $794. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expired July 19. My total return $726. I'm selling Amazon $210 covered calls. These expired July 26. My total return, I am down $366. I'm selling PayPal $65 covered calls. These expire July 26. My total return $106. I'm selling Disney $110 covered calls. These expire August 2nd. My total return $150. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $199.96. My average cost, $98.95. My total return, $30,307.45. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $6.36. My average cost, $5.62. My total return, $4,000. $420.80 I have 300 shares of Disney Disney is at $97.55 My average cost $60 My total return $11,265 I have 1,000 shares of Robinhood Robinhood is at $22.23 my average cost, $17.53. My total return, $4,705. I have 500 shares of Southwest Airlines. Southwest Airlines is at $27.41. My average cost, $28.03. My total return, I am down $310. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $189.65. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $4,717. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $59.20. My average cost, $57.70. My total return, $300. I have 200 shares of Starbucks. Starbucks is at $74.72. My average cost, $78.15. My total return, I am down $685.50. This is a margin account. My margin total is 
$359.87. My margin used is $103,016.49, which leaves me with $12,343.38 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $46,850.83. This is how much money I have to lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.25%. The daily interest that I am paying is $17.71. And I am borrowing $1,000 interest free. There's nothing new to report since my last update my portfolio is still the same as before in terms of positions. I have not gotten anything new, I have not gotten rid of anything. It's still the same positions as before. Something that I want to point out is that for my stocks, a lot of them have earnings coming up soon. For example, if we look at Robinhood, I believe they report sometime in August, August 7th I believe. Yeah, available August 7th after hours. So they're reporting in August, which is about a month from now. So that's pretty soon. However, with my covered call position, I chose a strike price of $18. And right now, the stock price of Robinhood is at $22. So since it's above $18, my shares get, they might get called away before their earnings. So I might not even have to worry about how the earnings will go. These expire on the 19th of this month. So assuming that the stock price of Robinhood stays above the strike price of $18, I won't have any shares of Robinhood anymore if they get called away after the 19th. However, if we look at something where the share price is below the strike price, for example, Disney. Disney reports also in August, I believe. I think they report August 2nd. Yes. Okay, expected August 7th. Okay, so they're expected to report on August 7th, about a month from now. But if we look at my covered calls, I chose a strike price of $110 for my Disney covered calls. And right now, Disney is at $97. So it's below the strike price. So because of that, if it stays this way, when these expire on August 2nd, if Disney stays below $110 per share, I will actually keep my shares of Disney. Then I will actually need to pay attention to how Disney does during their earnings report. If things go well, hopefully I'll get a nice boost in my stock price. If not, then I'm going to lose some money. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. But yeah, a lot of my companies in my portfolio, they report within the next month or so. So that's something that I want to point out. Other than that, I don't really have much else to report. That's pretty much it. All right, so hopefully I get back above $100,000 again. It just keeps on going up and down. If we look at the past month, look at this. Up, down, up, down. It's not really stable. But hopefully I get to a point where my portfolio value actually holds above $100,000 and stays there instead of going up, going down, whatever. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I will be making more updates like this in the future. So if you guys want to see more updates, please like and subscribe and I'll keep making this type of content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.